But first, the business side of the business. The business before the business. we get to this lovely bottle of that before was we get to the pretty bottle, it looks like it's in a bottle of like Chardonnay. It's very nice. It is. It is very so nice. nice. It's so pretty. I love the antique label. <laughs> anyway, this is side of the business, folks. Subscribe to the channel. Do us a solid. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. You know, we could take it. We're big boys. Tell us if you've had this whiskey. Tell us what you think of it. Tell us if you know you agree with us, disagree with us, where we were right, where we were wrong. Whatever. Just be polite. And, uh, you know, it's a family show. We'll get back to you. Cheers. All right. So I went around the corner in search of a couple of bottles. Oh, hello, my friend. And I went to hello, my friend. And okay. And he said, hello, my friend. Uh-huh. And You I haven't was, been here in so long. I was running short of bourbon. And you said, I walked out with a case of whiskey this <laughs> week. What the hell are you talking about? I, ran sh- I was running short of bourbon. Uh-huh. I had mostly Scotch and Irish. So I went and uh, picked up a couple bottles of bourbon. Um, I'm always looking for the elusive Blanton's. I need an O. Wait, let me back up one horses. second. You said you have a whole bunch of what at home? Scotch and Irish? Scotch and Irish. So, why don't you call it the Big Mac Bar? <laughs> Let's not do that. Why? Let's just why not? keep it going. The mix and the max. Uh, the Big Mac Bar. It's probably offensive to mix and no, max. No, it's not. It That's is not. I heard, I heard um, Brian Cox. I think he's actually Irish. But he lived in Scotland, and he was saying the whole thing about the Micmacs because there was a lot of folks, you know, back and forth between the Irish living in Scotland, Scots living in Ireland. You know, the MCs are the Irish folk, and the MACs are the well. And the MCs changed the MCs changed their names to MACs to fit in. So when my great grandfather went to Scotland, uh-huh. he changed the family's name, and my uncle told my father that there probably were two birth certificates with the same last name on them because mm-hmm. they just kept changing them to blend in. <laughs> Hey, you do what you got to do. So, anyhow, anywho, we are after going, that digression. We're going to Kentucky. We're going back to Kentucky. Kentucky. This is a part of the Kentucky Bourbon Distillers, which is now more commonly known as Willet. It was Willet, then it became Kentucky Bourbon Distillers. Now mm. it's Willet again. Uh, we had a bottle of Rowan's Creek, which was quite before. delightful. And it's, again, they look like they're hand bottled, hand drawn pictures. I mean, I. The pretty shiny package is right there for me. Absolutely. So I wanted to get a bottle of the Noah's Mill because I'd had that at Rowan's Creek and I enjoyed it so much. Mm-hmm. So I saw this and I picked it up and I thought, hello, my friend. I will share it with you. Hey, very nice. Very nice. So you do uh, the pour. pour. Wait, let's do it. Go for it. Pop. Uh, small pop, but a pop nonetheless. We should get a glug glug here. Uh, glug glug. Magic to my ears. Nothing like Magic to my ears. It's like Sinatra. Oh, no, Mark Lovell. So nice. Uh, it's like Sinatra. It's like Frank. So nice. The summer wind. The glug glug. Whatever. Six and one half of the note. I'm going to focus here. And, uh, okay, so a little bit of stats here. 57.15% ABV. Two fives. 114.3 proof. Small batch Kentucky straight bourbon. Shall I read the tasting notes? You can read some tasting notes. The tasting notes are courtesy of Bill Thomas of the Jack Rose Dining Saloon, a place that we have yet to go to. It's on the list. One of the most lush and rich whiskeys on the market. The nose is... I won't go into that. Let me skip that. Anyway, just lush and rich. I don't want to leave the witness. So let's there just get go. into it. The point is, I think he likes it. I think so. I think he likes it. Now the and nose... I think they know a thing or two about whiskey down there. The, uh, the uh, Rowan's Creek was about 50%. Yes. So I didn't realize this was going to be 57. Oof. I'm not going to complain. Cheers. Lame. Lame. All right, I my, had my big meat hook up too high. Oh, so did I. Deadens and so did sound. I. So did I. Uh, oh. Let me see what this is here. Hold on a second. There's one back. This is batch uh, 19.33, whatever that means. Oh, that's nice. 19-33. All right. Oh, that's nice. You know, shockingly, it's not that vapory. Like, I didn't get that initial burn. Like I usually no, burn. no, which is not good. You're kind of expecting the burn. Maybe, it need, you know what, also, you just opened you it. Off. You just opened it, so maybe it needs to open up a little bit. I get a little dance in here. Yeah. I see it going around. A little booze dancing, if you will. A little, it's a little leggy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it go. Look at it go. Twirling away in our lovely society glasses. Okay, the vapors are starting to, it's starting to open up. This quite a beverage. It is starting to open up. What a beverage. What you doing? I'm agitating it a little bit. Oh, you're agitating it? <laughs> you mean you want you want the whiskey to match its drinker? 
Agitated? No, I'm not making it angry. <laughs> you are agitated. Come on. Don't lie. Don't deny it. No, I'm getting a lot of the, like the, the buttery ginger notes right away. Yeah, you know, I have to say, though, the, the, the vapors, the vapors, the vapors are really... i gotta, I got to push past that. Maybe a little buttered popcorn? Yeah, you're getting like the pats of butter. It smells fantastic if you're a big fan of butter. Who doesn't like butter? Butter makes everything good. You know what the secret to good cooking in a restaurant is? More butter. More butter. More butter. Butter and salt. It's, it smells like it's going to be spicy. Like, I'm just getting, like, again, I'm getting, like, a ginger snap and, like, a baked apple pie. It smells really good. It smells really good. Honestly, I'm having a hard time picking it apart just because I can't get past the vapors. So I Google to see what the mash bill is, mm -hmm. and it says, because it's made from source barrels, the mash bill is undisclosed. Mm -hmm. In fact, the final product includes hearsay. <laughs> Hearsay. Hearsay. And I'm how, really sure how convenient of this. is that? How convenient is that? I'm not even sure of this. Bastards. I think it could be uh, good amounts of rye, good amounts of wheat. Sure. That's nice. It's a little hot, but it's it's got a nice little bit of oiliness to it. It's got a little bit of texture. What is that? The papers went right up. Is that double five face? Right up. Boy, that's nice. That's really nice. Maybe I had too big a mouthful. Swirl it around for too long. Mm. That's good. It goes it goes right to the middle. It's like taken like from like the, the back, like from the front middle to the back middle. It's just the whole center of my tongue. Yep. It's a little dry. A little bit long. Mm. That's good though. For 57, there isn't much of a burn. No. It's, it's no, 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 no. It's good. Very we nice. don't know how old this is, correct? Very nice. Uh, the stuff that I read said it used to come with an age statement that was 15 years. Now there's no age statement, so it's obviously less than that. But it, it tastes like it is not a two-year-old or a three-year-old. No, it's nice. It's almost got like a little bit of like yeah. like, like pumpkin bread. Yeah. A little bit got of like, baking spice. A little bit of like a nice like yeah. almost like a little sugary note to it. You and know, it, like it, a little it, powdered sugar, like an icing. It, it tastes well-rounded. Yeah, like right. a, like an iced, yeah. like a let's say an iced pumpkin bread. A little spice. Um, a little bit of a little bit of leather or tobacco, mm -hmm. you know, maybe just a touch of barrel char. It's very you nice. Know. Oh, that's really good. Very nice. Hmm. I wish I brought the Rowan's Creek so we could do a little side by side and see how we like them. Hmm. Another show. But this is that is very, is very good. nice. That's very, very good. nice. Not but, for the faint of heart. No, but you know what though? But, I think it's hotter on the nose. And maybe just it's because we just opened it. You got to kind of like unleash. You got it's been bottled up and closed up a little bit, so it's a little tight. Oh, the the hounds. So, but now it's like, you know, it's actually not that bad. It's not really that much of a burn. There's a little bit of like, you know, like dark brown sugar or almost like uh, caramel, you know, and I get that little bit of pumpkin spice and a little bit of sugar. That is really, really nice. I, I think that's a, that's a solid that's like a, a solid. minus. To me, that's an A. That's an A, A minus. I give that a 90, 91. Oh, that's absolutely. I, I think uh, this is probably one of the better bourbons that mm. I've had. Um, and we've had a lot of good bourbon. Yeah, we have. We've had a lot. This is nice, though. It has like a kind of classy. You know, it's not like it's not like it feels. Dare, dare we say elegant? I was going to say elegant, elegant, but I switched to classy. Elegant. But it's got a nice refined flavor. It's got a nice way about it. You know, it's it's. I don't want to use the word smooth, but it's just very well done. And at fifty-seven well point five, you know, well it's it's not a kick in the face. Now, at 57.5... Which is not to say it's not going to knock on your floor. Would, would you put this in a cocktail? No. No, this is... this is It's just to, too much. No, it's too much. Too much I think it. it's too much for that. Yeah. I think it's too much for that. It's too much... Too much. What's, what's your, what what's your limit? 50? Yeah, I'd say up to 50. Yeah, after that, it's, it's for... Yeah, it's, it's, it. it's for... It's for show? Yeah, exactly. It's all for show. Yeah, it's, it's for sipping. So, anyway. I liked it. I thought it was very good. Cheers to the folks in those mills. Sir. Cheers Thank to you for the, sharing. Can I keep distillers yep. and our, our soon to be good friends at Willet, perhaps? I hope so. Huh? Huh? Uh, hey? I huh? think so. Huh? Huh? Say no more. Say no more. Cheers. Oh. All right, sir. Cheers.